A father, husband, and restaurant owner, Antonio Barrera, pursuing his American dream has come with its challenges. So I wasn't born here. I was born in Mexico. I don't have no legal men documents. I only have the DACA, which is the Dreamers, um, the Dreamers, which is a work permit. He attended COC, although eventually dropped out to continue working. I won't be hired anywhere because they want a citizenship and I don't have that. And I got married to another illegal immigrant, so it's not like I was going to have any hope on that too. So I, I had to do something with my life. I used to work before I owned this store. I used to want, I used to work four jobs. I used to work at Henry Mail. I used to work at Frontier Toyota, Mercedes, and I used to clean shopping centers. So I mean, I worked really hard to save the money to open my business. While he has been a success with Tamales Express, a Mexican restaurant in Santa Clarita, he was hit pretty hard because of the pandemic. Our sales dropped like 60%. You know, after we were doing so good, you know, it dropped drastically. Restrictions got tougher on the business, and all they were able to do was take out. But even then, many customers were still not going as often. And thankfully, we didn't hire let, let go nobody because even though the sales dropped, the only person who was losing really was me, but we still had enough to keep the employees. His staff stuck by his side and were hopeful for the future. When the pandemic happened four months after, like around July, I, I started doing some investigation. I saw the Swambies. They, uh, they sell food in there. Antonio became very popular at the Saga Swap Meet that he eventually branched out to the Santa Fe Springs and Antelope Valley Swap Meets. And thankfully, I'm here now. It's almost two years and with the pandemic, and I'm still here. He hopes to continue branching out the business and eventually open up a second restaurant in the Antelope Valley. For Canyons News, I'm Isabel Mendez.